Hello everyone. Let's provide the solution to this problem. 3 to the power of x minus 2 to the power of x equals 65. Okay, so what I want to do now is to use difference of two squares for this. And for me to do that, I will raise this to the power of 2. But how do I do that? This is 3 to the power of x to the power of 2 over 2. So that from here, I can manipulate and have something raised to the power of 2, right? Then minus 2 to the power of x. Then I will still have 2 over 2. Then this is equal to 65. This has not changed anything, right? Now, what if I bring this 2 in here and I bring the 2 in here? So that means I'll be having 3 to the power of x over 2 to the power of 2. Okay, then if I go ahead, I'll have 2 to the power of x over 2 to the power of 2 as well then this is equal to 65. Now, we can see difference of two squares. But before then, let us um, replace this term here with letters. Let's say our A is 3 to the power of x over 2. And then our B is 2 to the power of x over 2. So this means that we're having a to the power of 2 minus b to the power of 2 equals 65. And if I go ahead to express this as difference of two squares, we have a minus b into a plus b equals 65. And again, here is what I want to do. Since we have this to multiply in order to get 65, what if I break 65 into 2? And I will say a minus b multiplied by a plus b is equal to um, 5 multiplied by 13. Right? Remember, 5 times 13 will give us 65. And uh, 5... Um, how do I say it? A minus B should be less than A plus B. So we will now compare. Meaning that our A now is um, A minus B is 5. And then A plus B is 13. So A minus B is equal to 5. And then A plus B is equal to 13. So here we now have a um, simultaneous equation. Let's solve this. How do we deal with this? To solve this problem, we can apply any of the methods. Let's say elimination method. So if I add this, a plus a will give to a, then minus b plus b is gone. Then on this side, we have b um, 5 plus 13. And it is 18. The only unknown now is A. So this means that our A is 18 divided by 2. And then our A is equal to 9. So now we have A to be equal to 9. Let's leave this aside and continue to get the value of B. Let's put this into any of the equations, let's say the first one, where we had um, a minus um, b equals um, 5. Now a is um, 9, so we have 9 minus b, this is 9 minus b equals 5, meaning that um, 9 minus 5 is equal to b, and our b is simply equal to 4. Okay.
Okay, so let's bring these two together. We have A to be equal to 9. Okay, so B is equal to 4. But in the equation, we do not have anything like um, A and B. So that means we need to go back and um, go back to the point where we say that A is equal to 3 to the power of X over 2. Okay, where can we see that? Look at it there. A is equal to 3 to the power of x over 2. Now that A is 9, we put 9 here. 9 is equal to 3 to the power of x over 2. Now let's make them have the same base. 9 is 3 to the power of 2 equals 3 to the power of x over 2. Since the bases are the same, the powers must be the same. x over 2 is equal to 2. This is over 1 as well. So to get the value of x, we cross multiply. So that x is equal to 2 times 2. And our x is equal to 4. So here we have um, the solution. But there's something we've left out. We've left out um, b to be equal to 2 to the power of x over 2. So let's go back there and see whether we we'll still have the same um, 4. Okay, let's go. Okay, so this is what we have. But our B now is 4. And it's equal to 2 to the power of X over 2. Then let's make them have the same base. 4 is 2 to the power of 2. And it's equal to... 2 to the power of x over 2. The bases are the same, meaning that the powers must also be the same. So x over 2 is equal to 2, and these two can be over 1. The power here is equal to this power. So we can cross multiply x times 1 is x, and it's equal to 2 times 2, that will give 4. So we still have x to be equal to 4. So this is the value of x that satisfies the equation. But you know how we always do it. Let's verify to see whether we are right or wrong. We have 3 to the power of x minus 2 to the power of x equals 65, right? Okay, so x is 4 now, right? So that means we have 3 to the power of 4 minus 2 to the power of 4. This means we have 3 to the power of 4 is 81. Then 2 to the power of 4 is 16. And 81 minus 16 is 65. So this is to say that x is truly equal to 4. Thank you for watching. If you were the one... Would you have used the same method that I use? Let us know in the comment section.